Hey guys, um, it's been a little couple days since my last update. Last time I, I checked in, what the hell? last time I checked in, it was the night of my brother's birthday party, which was awesome. It was great. Um, definitely had a lot of fun. Uh, tons of friends were. Ended up just being like a lot of the homies just chilling, but it, it was still good. And uh, so actually, last night was my brother's. Well, yesterday was my brother's actual 21st birthday, and we, we went down to Luna Rosa, and I basically had open bar for my friends. Not literally open bar, but I covered pretty much everybody's drinks in, in my group of friends. Just, like I said, I got a little bit of money back, a little extra money back from the government, and I've been uh, very... I don't know the word I'm looking for, but... Very, very willingly, willingfully, very willing. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. To spend it. Um, but I feel like everything that I've spent it on has been legit. Like my brother's birthday. I mean, come on, it's my first birthday. You know, as his older brother, I'm gonna try to step things up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that that was an absolute awesome time. And last night, it was his birthday yesterday. And one thing that he wanted to do, and he wanted to do it on his birthday, I told him that's fine, that's awesome. We went out, we checked, uh, we wanted to get some tattoos, and we got them today, actually, and I'll show you mine in a second. But last night we went down to Luna Rosa, we played pool with everybody. It was Wednesday night, not really that many people there, but it was a good time. He had fun. People we haven't seen in a long time stopped by. We played pool, we just cranked the stereo, had some pizza, had some shots, had some drinks. Good night. Good. Very, very good night. And like I said, came home last night. I think we got home probably about 2 o'clock or so. Luna's literally right down the road from my house. Um, but then today we got up and at 12 o'clock was our tattoo appointment. My brother got our family crest on his shoulder. I promise, well, no. I was going to say I promise I'm not naked, but ladies, if you're watching this, use your imagination. I'm, go for it. My, anyway, back to my topic. I, I just looked down at my screen and I was like, I see my face. I see my shoulders. Oh. I guess, I don't know. I see my face and my shoulders. I was like, wow, for all anybody knows, I could be completely butt-ass naked filming this. Eh, whatever. But, my point is, um, today we went and he got his uh, shoulder, our family crest, which I'm eventually going to get done. I'm a little jealous. A little, 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 little fucker. That thing came out really, really good. Really, really good. Um, I wanted to get a Celtic sword on my forearm. I, I, I think I've showed you guys this one. It says, ja, or dude, that way. And then, yeah, you can kind of see it. It says Josh the other way, and then, dude, if you flip the tattoo and read it upside down and backwards, it says, dude, Josh, dude, my nickname forever. But I wanted to get on my other forearm a Celtic cross. Um, with the band of this family forever first. When I went to get the tattoo, they said, listen, you don't have a really big forearm. <laughs> you really don't. And to get the tattoo and to have the banner on it, you're not going to be able to see the blade of the sword. You'll never know it was a sword. So I was like, ah, I gotcha. It's, it's no big. So we'll drop the banner. I can always work it in another time. Trust me, I'm not done getting tattoos. Definitely want to get some more. And, uh, so I'll actually let me let me show you the tattoo. All right, we're gonna put this down here. And that is my tattoo. I don't know if it, the screen quality can really see it too well. In the light a little bit. But. Oh, whoa, that's no good. I was watching the Phil's game, and all of a sudden, the, uh, I stepped on the remote, so I changed the station. But we're going to head back last. What? I know this is horrible to be doing in the middle of a, in the middle of a post, but my point is, I'm going to make it quick, because I really want to watch the end of this Phil's game. And I do have work early in the morning. The last two days, my, my only well, two days off. Cool, Philly's back on. And, uh... <laughs> I'm doing a lot of bouncing around on this post, which is horrible because nobody wants to watch a, a camera bouncing around. But, um, so yeah, I got that today and it came out awesome. Big props to, to Rockin' Willies. 
shop out in Stroudsburg. That's where I got my first tattoo. This is where I got this one. And I can honestly say, I mean, I will recommend Rockin' Willies to anybody. Um, I'll definitely gonna go back there for my next tattoo and the tattoo after that and the tattoo after that. The uh, the guy yeah, tat tattooed me today. His name's Josh. Um, you can find him on Facebook. Uh, he, he's the guy was the guy was awesome. He was chill, and he did awesome work. I mean, he. I w I personally believe like when you go to get a tattoo, you should know what you're gonna get. Know what you want to get. If it, 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 the whole point of getting a tattoo, that's something that's gonna be on your body for the rest of your life, unless you go and get like laser removal, and even that, it's gonna mess up your skin. You might as well fully accept the fact that that's a piece of artwork and a permanent change to your physical appearance. It's on my forearm. I'm never really gonna hide that. I'm okay with that. Who knows? Fifteen years from now, I could be in a position where I'm in a job opening, and they go, "Oh, do roll up your sleeves," and they see that, and they go, "I'm sorry, but you know that goes against our appearance." I'm gonna have to live with that, and that's something I, I, I today I accept, and I, I will always keep that in mind that no matter what, that is a permanent. That's permanent. That's there for the rest of my life, and I always feel like so. If you're gonna go to get a tattoo, know what you want. Make sure it means something to you. Don't just get a tribal band because they, you think they're cool, or don't just get you know a heart. Uh, be, be, because or a little rosebud or something like you know like girls do. Make sure it means something. I got a Celtic sword. Does it necessarily is it the most original thing in the world? Absolutely not. It's a Celtic sword. I'm Irish. I'm Irish and Puerto Rican. I'm gonna get the Celtic sword there when I get my family crest. I'm gonna get my shoulder above this one. Uh, that, that's my father's side is the Puerto Rican side. That's that's my heritage. That, that's my heritage on my arm there. People are gonna look at it. They're gonna go, "Oh, it's a sword with some designs on it." Yeah, that's great. But to me, that that's a representation of my Irish heritage. So, make sure it's something that means something to you. So, when you go, know what you want to get. However, be open to some variation. They are the professionals. If they say it's not gonna work, if they say that the 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 colors are gonna to bleed too much or the, the 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 design is too intricate, every tattoo artist is gonna be a little bit different. Find one that you you trust or find a, a shop that you trust and stick with it because the problem with jumping around is you, a lot of people and I, I understand that you see this on TV all the time you see these crazy tattoo artists and you are right to and it's true that these people are on TV they know their shit they do tattoos for a living and obviously they wouldn't be on TV if they didn't do amazing work but the thing is find a tattoo artist you're comfortable with and that you trust his work because they're drawing it they're drawing a picture on your skin. Take out, I dare you, I dare you, take out a pen and pencil and try drawing a picture of anything. And I tell you what, it ain't going to come out right. You're probably not going to, but these guys are artists for a living. The, the difference is they don't paint pictures on paper or canvas, they do it on people. And that that's something that, A, to be able to put up with, I, I think, a little bit, uh, maybe, maybe it goes away after a while, but the initial nerves of doing that, of, oh my God, you know, if I mess up, this is... But find somebody that you trust, because they're the ones. And because if you find out, if you find somebody who you trust, and you go back there several times, they're not going to try to steer you wrong. These people are trying to make money, but they're, they're they understand that you know this is a permanent thing. This is a big thing for somebody. You know what I mean? So know what you want to get, but be open to variation, because ultimately they're the professionals. They're the ones that are going to try to help you make that tattoo as good as possible. So. I'm psyched about it. Rockin' Willies is awesome. It's right on. It's right in in Stroudsburg. It's across from the uh, what road is that on? That's on six eleven. It's on six eleven, right across. It's actually right next to I think a Doctor Feelgood or something. Um, but yeah, it's right across from the Target and all that. So if you guys are in the area, you guys are looking for really really nice tattoo artists, guys who know what they do. They do good work. They don't overprice anything. This is tons of shading. It's got like four variations of grays and black. It's got white in it. It, it, it took about almost two and a half hours to get tatted. And I paid two fifty. I'm happy with that. Like maybe I'm maybe I'm I've only gotten two tattoos. Maybe I'm I, I, my I don't fully understand prices and tattoos, but I'm just saying for the amount of work you put into it and for what I look at it and perceive it to be. I'll pay 250 for that tattoo any day. So, like I said, 
not a real long update. Just kind of wanted to hit you guys with uh with with, with my tattoo. Like I said, maybe maybe we'll get a picture. Actually, if you go to my Facebook, uh, I don't even know the address, but if you go to my Facebook and then you go to my brother's, you can see his tattoo. It's, like I said, just a little, little, little bit jealous. A little bit jealous. Definitely, definitely gonna add that one to my arm. It's a family crest. Nobody can bitch at me for getting the same exact tattoo. So I'm back to work uh, tomorrow morning. I had to be there at nine. I've had the last two days fully off because we were supposed to go to Atlantic City, and my brother didn't want to. So I'm 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 cool because we didn't go, but we still had an awesome. I think his birthday turned out awesome. He seemed to have a good time, and at the end of the day, I hope he really did because I had a fun time trying to make it a fun time. So. That's my update. Phillies game is at the I believe the top of the eighth right now. Phillies are up four to one, four zero, something like that. I've been paying attention to this and not the game. Um, oh, and big ass. I like the Phillies, but I hate the freaking Eagles. I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan all the way. I got Dallas Cowboy hat over there. I got more Dallas shit all. I, I I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan all the way. Not as informed and as up to date and knowledgeable on stats and players as I should be. Uh, but I've been a Dallas fan all my life, and that's what I'll always be. So, but I never really liked baseball, and as I started getting into it, like I get, I guess you call Cobb out if you want. But the home team is Philadelphia Phillies. I've lived in Pennsylvania all my life, and I'm 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 a, I'm a K-town boy. I'm a free in Pennsylvania, so I I gotta go with with my my Philadelphia Phillies. I mean. Call bandwagon if you win because will because I didn't really get into baseball until. The Phillies started really picking it up a couple a couple seasons ago. Whatever, they're the home team. I go and I, I'll watch any. I'll go to their game if I ever have the chance. I'll watch them on TV. I know a little bit about the players. Their friggin' their minor league team, the Iron Pigs, is right now in town. Like it's a half hour drive from my work. I've gone see the Iron Pigs several times. Like I love it. It's fun. I'm not a huge baseball guy. I really don't care about watching any other team. But if the Phillies are on, the Phillies are on, and I root for them all the way. So. That's that. That's my update. And uh, peace out, guys.